Mark Palimiropoulos spent decades in the CIA as a covert operative in Afghanistan, Iraq, chasing terrorists across the Middle East. But one night in a Moscow hotel room in 2017 was like no other. I think about all the times in war zones where I've been shot at or rocketed. Um, this was by far, though, the scariest night of my life. At the time, Palomaropoulos, the CIA's number two official for clandestine operations throughout Europe, says he woke up suddenly in the middle of the night with a sense of vertigo. I was falling over in my room. I thought I was going to vomit. I was incredibly nauseous. Um, I had this incredible ringing in my ears. Uh, and I knew something was really wrong with me. The episode just the start of debilitating symptoms that upended his life. He says similar to scores of other cases reported by American diplomats and spies that began in 2016 in Havana, then hit American officials in China, and have since been reported by CIA officers in several other countries. What could be the cause? After a year-long investigation, 19 top experts from the National Academies of Sciences conclude the most likely explanation, directed pulsed microwave energy, consistent with the directed radio frequency energy attack. This is not a cell phone. This is not what you see from a microwave oven. This is a very particular and unusual way of delivering microwave energy. Stanford professor of medicine David Relman chaired the study. We have neurologists on our committee that said afterwards, in my entire career of reading about countless hundreds and thousands of cases of neurologic injury, I've never heard of something like this. This is really unique in the medical literature. It is. New Hampshire Senator Jean Shaheen has been fighting for medical benefits for the victims. I fear that what we have seen to date is not going to end. We're going to see more of these kinds of attacks in the future, and we need to be prepared for them. And what countries have developed this kind of technology in the past? Well, we know Russia has it. Russia has denied any involvement in the incidents. The State Department kept the report secret for months, even from Congress, until a bipartisan group of senators demanded to see it. A State Department spokesperson says the investigation is ongoing and each possible cause remains speculative. Not to mark Polymeropolis suffering from debilitating migraines for the last three years. And why would the Russians want to target you? I was in charge, or, or you know, one of several officers in charge of overseeing our efforts against them. Reluctantly, after 26 years in the CIA, he resigned last year at the age of 50. We have to find out who did this. And so I'd like to see kind of a robust investigation um, by our intelligence services and others to see, you know, who was culpable. It's certainly, you know, the, the Russians um, are probably the prime suspect, uh, uh, but we can't allow anybody who's doing this to continue on. Andrea, this is so shocking and disturbing. I remember when those mysterious attacks first surfaced. Have there been any more suspected incidents since that study began? In fact, Savannah, there have been at least five new cases that we know of. Cases like Mark's involving CIA officers have been reported in the last year or so, and these were in various different places, East Asia, Poland, London. And a source with direct knowledge is telling NBC News about this and also says that the CIA, using mobile phone location data, determined that Russian agents who had worked on microwave weapons were also in those same cities at the same time. This is not conclusive. It's just a lead. The CIA telling NBC News uh, that if there were credible intelligence that an adversary were harming an officer, the director, CIA Director Haspel, would act swiftly. Mark, by the way, has now been accepted. CIA has apparently arranged this for treatment at Walter Reed, something he really wants to start next month.